Now right now, we have icons for the drive. Let's say I want to see what's on a drive. I can go ahead and um, maybe I should use the mouse. Double click on an icon. It'll open up that folder or drive. Here we can go in and open up the, drive, the, the, the folder that I had previously created here with um, my pictures in it. Notice there's one picture that's been renamed, right? And um, the rest still have those funny uh, file names that, that I might want to change in batch. Um, so for example, here I have four pictures that are from basically the same little moment, right? If I want to add a text string before this file name, what I need to do is go to Tools, Batch Rename, right? And here we have the ability to add a text string, right, in front of our current file name. And we'll see that this is our current file name, and then the new file name is being shown beneath it, right? Do I want to call this animation underscore? No, I want to call this whatever, snowy, snowy um, pencil. So now, if I want to find those pictures, I can easily locate them, right? I also retained my file name extensions, my, I'm sorry, my file, my original file names and file name extensions, um, in order to find the backup pictures if I need to retrieve them. Right, let's say I mess up one of these pictures somehow, I can always go back and find 1404, IMG 1404 or whatever, in my backup drive and pull it and copy it back into my work drive. Okay. Batch renaming is something you want to do because it makes your pictures make sense, right? We have a lot of editing that we have to do as digital photographers. And this is an easy way to sort of begin that process. Okay, so that 